Tappy activated. I'm ready to share information about Validiums. They are similar to zero-knowledge rollups, but with one key difference. They store transaction data off-chain instead of on Ethereum. By doing so, Validiums can achieve much higher scalability, as they are not constrained by L1's data storage limits. Keep it on your memory boards that Validium still use zero-knowledge proofs to ensure transaction validity. But the data itself is stored by a trusted set of validators or external providers. This makes them ideal for use cases like gaming, NFTs, or enterprise applications, where decentralization isn't the top priority. An example of Validium technology is StarkX which powers several decentralized exchanges and applications. It offers high throughput and low fees. Processing complete, get ready to download the data on sidechains. While often grouped with L2 solutions, sidechains differ significantly. A sidechain is an independent blockchain that operates alongside Ethereum, connected to it via a two-way bridge. Time to decode the details. Users lock assets on Ethereum's L1, and equivalent tokens are issued on the sidechain. Transactions occur entirely on the sidechain, which uses its own consensus mechanism, like proof of authority or delegated proof of stake. When users want to return to L1, they send their tokens back across the bridge and the locked assets are released on Ethereum. One of the main advantages of sidechains is that they're highly customizable and can handle a large number of transactions at a low cost. But unlike true L2 solutions, sidechains don't have Ethereum security. It makes them less secure and more centralized. That's all the information I wanted to share on L2 solutions. Like and share this video and subscribe to stay with me. Tappy deactivated.